Hey guys, my name is Stephen Beecham. I got a really short haircut, and here's what's happening this Flat. week on CNET's Crave Block. This week, we had the opportunity to try out a new kind of restaurant in San Francisco called Itza, which just opened this week a few blocks from CNET Studios. The restaurant ordering process is completely automated, and your food is presented to you in a small cubby that has a see-through LCD screen that displays your name, alerting you that your food is ready. It's a pretty unusual way to get lunch, so here's a quick walkthrough of how the restaurant works. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and order something and see how this whole process works. So, first thing you're going to do, swipe your card slowly to get started. So I'm going to swipe my credit card. So here's all our menu options. And I know that I, I've been looking at the menu already, so I know that I want the burrito bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and order the burrito bowl. And I think I'm going to get a drink. Why not? Why not get a drink? Let's see. Let's get a smart water. Add to bag. Push check out. There's my total, 1003. Continue. Confirm my payment. I'm gonna email have it email me a receipt. Email hotmail.com and finish. So now I guess we just wait and see my name pop up on the screen. There it is, Stephen B. Alright, let's go stand over here and wait. So my order is up in number six. Where's number six? Here it is. Tap it twice. All right. Mmm, that looks good, actually. All right, let's go try it. Let's go try this out. All right, guys, so that is the dining experience at Ita. I'm gonna open this up and try it out. So thanks for watching Crave. Oh, it was very tech-savvy and very easy to order, actually. And um, it was, it looked really fresh and yummy. I think it was awesome. I'm impressed. Uh, high technology. Um, yeah, I, I loved it. Pretty innovative. I can't wait. To, hopefully, the future will be like this. No. no, I'm actually pretty excited about that too. Stephen Colbert and the popular traffic app Waze have partnered up to help you get from point A to point B in a fun and comical way. That was a big one. You have reached your destination. I'm surprised. To be honest, I wasn't paying attention. That makes two of us. On September 1st, users of the free community-based traffic app have the option to select Stephen Colbert's voice to direct them on their journey, along with the occasional comedy and cute comments you would expect from the Late Show host. I love Waze. I use it wherever I go. Post office, tattoo parlor, bank, tattoo parlor, liquor store, tattoo removal clinic. Heavy traffic reported ahead. Ugh, traffic, my least favorite kind of jam. The promotion runs through September 22nd, and then Colbert's voice will be gone. YouTube user Gas Turbine 101 has built a massive flying okay, device so that looks fine. like it's powered by hundreds of quadcopters. The flying contraption is called the Swarm, named after the 54 propellers that propel the man. I'm going to assume it's from the UK based on the sticker on his aircraft and his accent. Forgive me if I'm incorrect. According to the video description, the craft has 54 counter-rotation propellers, six group control channels with hobby king stabilization, and can lift 164 kilograms and can fly for about 10 minutes. A few months ago, Gas Turbine 101 posted a video of an unmanned test flight from a distance, but now he's actually inside the aircraft, which looks terrifying. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh! Oh, be careful! Oh! Yeah. All right, guys, that is the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway are eight tile Bluetooth trackers for finding lost items. Do you lose lots of stuff? Then go to the blog and enter to win. I still don't understand award shows. <laughs> This arena tomorrow, it's gonna be a completely different setup. Some concert, something like that. How could you explain that? It, it crosses my mind a little bit like when I go to a baseball game. After that night, the stage is gone. I don't understand.